afternoon, triathlon fans. This is Ryan, so today's triathlon.com. I am back if you're watching this live on Facebook, or hello if you're watching it on uh, YouTube later or on Facebook later after I've recorded it. We're going to be talking about 70.3 Waco and Ironman Waco because in 2021 we had both. Um, and the same weekend, thanks to the pandemic, the situation being what it was, they went ahead and had a full on Saturday and then a half on Sunday. Now, the time of recording is the day before the races are going off. So I just wanted to go through and make sure that you guys are up to speed on the athlete guide. I know uh, for 21, it may be a little bit late, and hopefully you've already looked through it. Hopefully you've seen other videos. It's pretty similar from race to race, but uh, I like to do, do like to go out and point out maybe specific things for the races and point out what you want to print, what you don't want to print. So we'll start off 70.3 Waco because that's going to happen year after year. We don't know if they're going to bring the full back, so we'll kind of visit that later. But basically, you know, you go to the main website, 7.3 Waco, uh, and as we're going along, if you have any questions in the live, put them in the comments here, and I can answer any questions that you might have. Uh, I am an Ironman certified uh, coach, so that gives me a little bit of background, and I have a little bit more insight into Ironman, uh, even though I'm not directly employed by them, but I'm a coach and uh, Ironman certified. So, if you hit the website and you go down to Athletes, you go down to Athlete Guide, you hit the button, and I always like to, and while we're doing that, that reminds me, I always like to save it on my computer, um, just so you can print it later, and this is the full as well. So that way, you know, if you come through and you need it for any reason, you can just go back up, open it on the computer, maybe you don't have internet access, you got the hotel or something, um, maybe you forgot your print off or whatever. So, if you open it up, you can't see the page count here on the video, but there's 58 pages to this uh, PDF. So if you just hit print, you're going to print a lot of advertisements, you're going to waste your ink, you're going to waste your paper, and it's going to be thick. So what I like to do is, um, especially i got Ironman Florida coming up for myself, I go through and I pick out the pages I want, I print them off. I always print off the front page, the front cover, because they've been getting a little bit nicer with them and a little bit more artsy with them. So it's always kind of fun to just print it off and have it on the top there, so it kind of tells you what you're doing. Usually don't print off the, the uh, table of contents. Um, if you've got time on your hands, you know, you can print off a little bit about the race director. Um, you know, just something to read if you got a little bit of downtime, like I said, you're relaxing the day before the event or something like that. Now, you know, if you go to the website and you go to the athlete information, it's got briefing information. Um, so it's got a live briefing, so they record it and put it on there. Um, they got event schedule, athlete guide, traffic impact, participant list, they got all the courses and everything. Well, the athlete guide has all that stuff except for the athlete briefing, but it's got all um, the other information. So you can print out the schedule, you can print out the courses, everything's in the athlete guide. So basically, you get their race day and you do something that's against the rules or something like that, or, or you miss a time or you forget the location, um, too bad because it's in the athlete guide and they expect you to read it. And it answers like 99% of the questions. So check it out, print it off, print off the pages you think you're going to need, and take it with you, have the entire event, and then I chuck it after the race um, so I no longer really need it, so I just throw it away. But anyway, so print off, like I said. If you want to know about the race track, you can print that off and read it. Uh, event schedule is always important. It tells you what's going on, when check-in is, where it's at, Ironman Village. Um, like I talk about when I talk about the event schedule specifically is make sure that you get to the Ironman Village as early as possible. Like for a full, I recommend two days before, for the half, the day before, or two days before, whatever. The first day of check-in um, because especially in 21, with no races in 2020 really, um, I think there's a, a pent-up demand for race gear, so people are buying shirts, hats, everything. Um, you know, this uh, hat for 70.3 Memphis, I got there on the first day, I went ahead and grabbed it up because I thought it was pretty neat, and I was like, all right, I need a hat this year. Went there the next day, and they're out of the, the 70.3 Memphis-specific hats by Boko Gear. So, uh, Boko Gear Ambassador, I love this stuff. Um, nice mesh uh, trucker-style hat, but if you like that kind of cool stuff, it's going to be gone after the first day of that Ironman Village. I'll just tell you that now. So get your gear, get it quick, because it's going to be gone. So it is interesting. Uh, Waco is a little bit different. They do have the athlete briefing in Spanish. So if you would like it in Spanish, if you're more comfortable with that, and that's a better way for you to get your information, there it is. So it's got athlete briefing times, it's got the Ironman store, it's got the uh, bike triathlon store and tech service center. So if you need something done to your bike, check it as soon as possible and get there and get it fixed, uh, because they fill up quick too. So everything for, and right now we're looking at 70.3 Waco, is the Indian Spring Park, except for mandatory bike checking as a transition at City Park. Um, so make sure that you 
check out where these spots are at. Don't just drive up and be like, oh, I'm just going to go to transition. That may not be where your army village and all the athlete briefings and everything is. Um, so make sure you know, you know, go to Google Maps, check the stuff out, know where you're going, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the other important thing is race day. You know, when's the start, when's the end, all that kind of good stuff. So Army Village is open at 9 a.m., but notice 70.3 Waco for 2021 is a little bit different because it's on a Sunday after the full transition doesn't open until, until 10 a.m., so you get to sleep in. Um, now, it's predicted to be a little bit warm, so you might be racing the heat of the day, but still, uh, to be able to sleep in and not have to get up until, you know, like 8 o'clock or something in the morning and get all your stuff rounded up, that's pretty nice. I mean, usually for a half, I'm I'm got everything with me. I'm checking out of the hotel because I drive home afterwards. But you, know, you don't have to show up until nine o'clock or ten o'clock for the transition opens. You can even show up early at nine o'clock and go wander through the Ironman store if you wanted to load up in any gear, last minute gear that you needed. But anyway, I digress. So it's got the start times. Got if you got a shovel for your event, it's got the shovel information. Uh, especially during the pandemic, it's got notes on there if uh, masking is required in certain areas. Um, usually for transportation, it's been required, but Waco has no transportation, so just be aware of that. Uh, times you can check out your bike, and then if you qualify for 70.3 Worlds, you need to be there in person. Um, the beginning immediate following awards must be present to claim your slot. So sometimes Ironman will go back and retroactively add spots, and then I'll do kind of an email roll down, but. They used to do it at the beginning of 2021. It was all email roll down because of the pandemic and the situation. They didn't want crowds of people, but now that's a little bit different. Uh, it's been more relaxed. The vaccines are out and cases going down, all that kind of good stuff. So they are going ahead and going back to doing these things in person. So make sure that you're there for award ceremony. And it's at 9 o'clock on a Sunday, which, you know, like I said, this, this race is a little bit different. So you have to be there to get your, your roll down. And you have to be there in person. So that information is there. As you check in, I print out all this information. It's got the address for the park to where to go. It's got all the information on where you need to go, what you need to do, uh, your questionnaire that you'll be asked uh, to fill out or, or at least acknowledge. Pre-race info, I print this off. It's just got all the stuff about check-in and mandatory bike check-in and all that kind of good stuff. You know, I would print off, they've got a parking map. I would definitely print this off and then where to park. Definitely kind of stake it out before you go do the race. Uh, race day info, I print that out. Uh, skip the advertisements, race day info, some more, timing cutoffs, I'd print that out. If you're in the relays, I'd print that out and have it on hand. Uh, the advertisement went not print, post race info, so if um, you need this information, i go ahead and print this off too. Uh, would not print off the advertisement. Qualifying, if you think you're going to qualify for 7.3 Worlds, I'd take this page and print it out. And again, like I said, it's got the maps in there, it's got all the rules for the wetsuits, so if you wonder what the temperature is for a wetsuit cutoff, here it is, 76.2 degrees to be wetsuit legal. Um, so make sure you know that. Uh, it's different for the pros, so don't be thrown off if, I don't think this race has any pros in it, but if a pro shows up and it's wetsuit legal and they show up in a skin, swim skin, uh, it's a little bit different for them. Would not print this advertisement, advertise. i go ahead and print this off just to have it, a uh, swim star checklist. It's just kind of a good thing to have. Uh, waiting for loading, waiting for loading. I would not print it off, uh, print off the map and bike course. I'd print off the turn by turn directions you want to check it out. It's got the elevation gain, so I go check that out. Uh, advertisement, no. Bike course, position rules. I print that off and know how close you can get, what the, uh, the, the cards are, and the timing uh, penalties, what they mean. Uh, bike course information, I definitely print this off because this is. It's got probably some race specific information on there as far as different things going on in the course. So make sure that you print this off and know it. Uh, we're not printing off advertisements. Cycle Smart, I go ahead and print that off just to read through it if you haven't done it before. Usually that's pretty universal race to race. Bike store information. So if you want the information for the tech, the info, how to contact them, print this page off, have it with you. Um, you don't need bike tech until you need bike tech. If you're doing wheel rental, print that off. Um, Advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. Waiting to load, waiting to load. Advertisement, that's why it takes so long. Map, I'd print that off. Uh, run course directions, print that off. Run course rules, I'd print that off and know them. Everybody asks, can I have my phone? Can I have your buds? Can I have all this stuff? It's in the athlete guide. Make sure you read it. Finish line policy. Can my kids run with me? No, they can't. Make sure you read all the information in the athlete guide because it's got everything you need. Overall rules. Make sure your reading all these printed off that is definitely something you need 
Uh, physically challenged athlete, if you're in this division, I definitely put this off and have it on hand. Answers all the questions. Violations, just so you know what is and is not. Because like I said, if you commit this and you're like, I didn't know that was a rule, it's in the athlete guide and they expect you to read it and expect you to know it. So that's no defense. Uh, medical policy, I would print that off and read it. You don't need medical until you need medical. Um, I've needed medical, of course, and, and the good, good information to have the time to kind of know what to expect. Because um, I was conscious, it was just it was cramping up, I was dehydrated, and they needed to help me off the course. But it's good to know just kind of what your options are. All-world athlete, print this off maybe if, you, if you're if you trying to get the all-world athlete status for the year. Um, always a good uh, goal to have. First, we'll ask questions. I'm going to have to print off those just so you have them. Try club info, race timing problems, all this other stuff. Uh, advertisement. Advertisement, advertisement, uh, checklist. I've, I've got several checklists out there, so if you need one, let me know. I can always send you a link. They got a checklist too, so maybe print that off. I always print it off too, just in case there's something on there that I didn't think about that's not on my checklist, even though I've uh, had it for what is this? Nine years or something like that, and added to it every time. So one, two, three. So like the last three pages are advertisements. So it's kind of a high level. Um, I'll kind of look through the, you know, the, the it's going to be the same idea for the uh, Ironman Waco, the full. Um, the main thing that's going to be different is your, is your event schedule because they do not allow check-in the day before a race. So notice it's on here, no Ironman athlete check-in on Friday. So you've got to be there at least two days before the race. That's just the way they're doing it, the way they've always done it. Very few exceptions. If you're flying and you got a delay and something happened and you're not able to make it the day before, Make sure that you take your little QR code that you checked in online. Hopefully you've done that. If you're going to miss, check in. You know, there's contact info all over here. You can email them. Uh, Ironman.com, back in Waco, backslash a few days for event, pre report Spanish, and briefing. Um, so if you dig in here, there is ways to contact the race. I am looking in this. Here you go, Waco at Ironman.com. So if something happens, email them. Um, they're not going to advertise phone numbers. They're not going to give you information for people. So I would definitely email them to say, hey, my flight got delayed, I'm going to be late, something happened, and they will get back to you or show up to the race or race venue if you if you couldn't make it before cutoff or uh, check-in cutoff, and they'll help you out. They're, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, there might be a little bit of, of, you know, rigmarole. There might be a little jumping through hoops and stuff like that, but, you know, it's better than not doing the race. Um, they do have a heart, and they'll make exceptions if something extreme happened. The one thing that might be different is the gear bags information is going to be in the full. Career race info is going to be a little bit different. So if you're doing the full, I would make sure it's got all the different courses, got all the different information. So I haven't talked about anything. You know, I've broken down the courses, the weather. Um, I do event schedule. I'll talk about that in a different video. So basically, I talked about all these things, but this specifically is just kind of advertising when you go through the athlete guide what you should print out. Again, this one's 58 pages, so I would just not open it up and hit print because you'll print 58 pages. And as you've, I've shown you, you know, some of these pages are one big advertisement, which is great. They got to get their money too. Um, it's a great way to get their eyes on their products. But there's really no need to print this page off because you really don't need it. And if you do, it's going to be 58 pages thick. And if you're carrying that around, it becomes a pain in the butt. And then the pages start ripping because there's too many sticks together. Oh, it's a big mess. So, basically, that's kind of the gist. It's 10,000 foot view of the athlete guy and kind of what I think you should print off. I would print off anything that looks like, you know, race per information. If it's advertisement, I would not print it off. So that's basically my high level, high level view. I didn't see any questions during the uh, recording of the video. Please ignore my dogs running around in the background. Hopefully this helped you out. Put comments on there. If it didn't help you out, if you think I totally missed on something, put that in the comments there. I want to make these videos better for you guys to help you out. Um, if you're seeing it on Facebook, give it a like. If you see it on uh, YouTube, if you're watching later, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, hit the notifications button so maybe I do future races or add something to the Waco series later on, uh, you can get notifications on that. Uh, and with that, you know, that kind of wraps up this little video talking about the athlete guides for Waco 7.3 and, and full Ironman Waco for 2021. So hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully you've done your training, you know, because that time of this recording, we're kind of the day before the full. So it's nothing you can really do except to get some rest, get some rest and, and be smart about race day and the heat that's coming up. But I have confidence in y'all. I think you're going to do great out there. It's going to be a great day for racing. And good luck out there. And I will see you all at the finish line. Make sure you go back to the group, post pictures of all your medals on the group and the Facebook pages um, and, and everything else. I'd love to see them. So good luck. See you at the finish line.
talk to you later.